Hey everybody, thanks for sticking with us through those commercial breaks. You're watching The Wake Up Call here on LoadedTV.com. We have the great honor. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Oh, great. Um, so, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you say your name because I don't want to screw it up. Oh, Michelle Pappas. Pappas. Yeah, I want to say Pappas. So, you, when I was saying, you must be Greek. I am. Yeah, yeah. I love that. You can okay. usually tell. So, um, Michelle is a singer-songwriter uh, on the scene um, in Reno, Nevada, and I have also heard nothing but good things Thank about you. you. I know quite a bit about you, um, mostly on Facebook and stuff like that. So, just to begin, you're going you're gonna to go and we're going to talk about your music, but just about you. What, how did you get to this point? Oh, you know, how did you start? How did I start? Um, well, a lot of stops and starts. Uh -huh. You know, um, I started playing drums really many years ago. I love that. And, <laughs> and I still play drums. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to be going on tour with a friend of mine, a songwriter from Los Angeles, very so soon. So cool. Um, I, I I would have you know a good run with music, and then mm -hmm. I would, I would have heartbreaking moments, and then I would mm -hmm. give it up. Mm -hmm. And I've had lots of periods like that. So it's been many years of that. And so the last couple of years, I've had a very loose attitude about music. Mm -hmm. Now I just do it for, I try to make myself a good writer, I try to be a good performer, yeah. and I try to be the best artist I can be with no attachment. And mm -hmm. since I've had that no attachment attitude, everything's been exploding. Falling yes. into place. So, so yeah. how did you know, like let's go back, way back and say, yeah. would, did you come from a musical family? Uh, no, lots of, lots of, one side of my family is very mechanical and very like math oriented, mm -hmm. so maybe that's part of yeah. my you know, makeup. Uh, another side of my family, they are more like a working, you know, blue gra blue collar mm -hmm. kind of uh, background, but they're also very creative. Um, so I don't know. I guess we're all just sort of creative people. In so did you ways. start playing the drums? Did someone give you drums? I just decided. Oh, it was the year 2000, and I thought, what do I really want to do this year? Yeah. You know, I was turning a specific age, a big milestone right. too, and I thought, I've I've always wanted to be a drummer. I I was always uh, n I was not encouraged actually as a child to play music because it makes noise. Right, <laughs> pound on things. Yeah, especially drums. So when I was an adult, I decided I wanted to do that. I plunked and went down to the local store. I plunked down $1,000 with no experience. And, and just grabbed those yeah, drums. I looked into the phone book for a drum teacher and I just started playing. That's really, so. I think that's really cool and very courageous, actually. <laughs> we have a couple of... Um, uh, oh, Mike is saying that you're one of the most talented oh. singers in Reno. <laughs> Very nice. Thank a you. fan already. <laughs> Can't wait to hear your new CD. Uh, they're you. asking, what inspires you? And that's a kind of a question I think everybody asks out <laughs> of songwriters. Yeah. But I mean, for me, I guess it's more about what your process is uh, yeah. to get through a song, like to uh, write a song. Where oh, does it come from? It's really accidental. I yeah. mean, I can be walking down the street and be completely inspired. Um, mm -hmm. Mostly I write from, you know, a lot, a lot of people don't know this, but I actually don't read music. I just sort of learned on an intuitive mm -hmm. level, you know, kind of mm -hmm. pieced it together. Mm -hmm. um, and I've had to learn how to <laughs> talk to people. Who right, actually, what you know, key is that? Yeah, you know, I'm like, so oh. on a basic level I can communicate. But So basically I write from more of like an intuitive, emotional perspective. And there are periods of time where I'm extremely prolific and I write tons of material. And then there's times where I've got nothing. So right. there are people in my genre that are much more prolific than me, but I just kind of write from the heart. And do you find that it comes connect, from? You know, do you th okay. find that a lot? Now a lot of people, you know, uh, um, write strictly from their own experiences, yeah. right? I got a broken heart yeah. or whatever. And then some people, I think, have a different way of maybe putting themselves yeah. aside. I've as tried that. I've tried being like the observer, and that mm -hmm. doesn't work for me. So it's okay, always, so it's all personal. It's all very personal okay, and kind awesome. of secret. Like I sometimes send out secret messages. Um, <laughs> do you like Jelly Bread? Who's asking these questions? Uh, I love Jelly Bread. Um, Dave Barry is playing on my new record. Yeah, uh, was he? Yeah, yeah he's great. He's um, amazing. Yeah. So they're asking what um, <laughs> what it, musicians inspire you locally. Oh, locally, um, definitely Buster Blue is one of my favorite bands. Oh, okay, they're yeah. Amazing mm -hmm. live. Um, I love as so, as far as like singer songwriters, mm -hmm. Tyler Stafford is mm -hmm. one of my very favorites. Mm -hmm. He's really activated me many times. He's brought me to tears. He's an amazing performer. Um, I love The Shames. Yeah, <laughs> they're, I love The Shames. You know, they're yeah. a punk rock band and they're like amazing and I wish they would like blow up and explode. Yeah. They're just one of the most amazing musician, you know, they're two girls, one guy. Man, yeah, they the trio. Really yeah. Tear it up. Yeah. So there's like, it kind of like my, what inspires me locally kind of goes across the spectrum, you know. So um, now, what's what? So now you've, you're going on tour. So let's talk about let's just talk currently. What's yes. going on with you and what you're doing? Um, I I applied to a showcase at South by Southwest again with no expectation. Mm. I just thought, well, I'll try it. In fact, I'm kind of always reluctant to try things because I always expect people to say no. So I'm like, there's no way anybody would be interested in what I do. But um, a good girlfriend of mine who's now a songwriter in LA 
got accepted to a showcase, mm -hmm. and she asked if I would play drums on her tour, which I said yes, and I was very happy. Um, her name's Joni Blinman, and she's an amazing Oh, writer. I know Joni! Yeah. Her, I'm just saying Nola. Yes. <laughs> yes, and Rick, Rick is making my record. So, oh, yeah, okay, can we all know this area? Yeah, okay. tiny, tiny universe mm -hmm. here. Uh, so I got, to, I got the opportunity to go on tour with her, because she has a few dates on the way to South by awesome. Southwest. Awesome. And then I found out that I, have a t I got accepted you to the showcase, too. You did, see? So, Life is good. It's good. very exciting. You know, I, I wait tables at night, and they were able to give me the time off. So well, they better. Yeah. <laughs> so you're. So what about your CD? Uh -huh. You're recording it now. Yes. Brand new stuff. All brand new stuff. Okay. Um, Rick is amazing. I know. He's one of my best friends. Yeah, I, I really, love him. I trust him too. He's I know. So great to work with. I wish I could. I wish that was like my office. I could walk in every day. Right. And work with Rick. Right. Yeah. And he'd say, "Good yeah. morning. Even <laughs> yes. in the evening." Okay. Yes. He's amazing, and the people that we. We want to, you know, I don't normally play with the band. I play by myself, mm -hmm. but I, I asked Rick if we could somehow produce like a kind of a live band mm -hmm. sound. Mm -hmm. So he did some special things and his magic that he works. Mm -hmm. And we had a couple special people come in and do like basically a session. The three of us. Yeah, together. all in one room. Yes, that is so cool. Yeah, which is very unusual for me because it, it made me nervous. But these recording. guys. Yeah. yeah so, so when is that? How, so twelve songs? Uh, no, we're trying to squeeze out eight. <laughs> okay. So eight songs, yeah, and when are you hoping that might come out? Uh, we're gonna finish tracking by this when I get back from Texas, March, April, probably May or June. We okay. Have it done. Awesome. Yeah. I want to see if there's any. Um, <laughs> what about Crush? Okay. Uh, <laughs> wait, she likes all these people. Yeah, um, I love Crush. So she now John is asking you travel with your music. Well, she's obviously she's gonna be traveling with yes. Joni. Um, and do you have a website if people or a place people can find out I about you? Okay. It's just it's a simple website. It's just michellepappasmusic.com. That's a great one. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, because if it's something else, you have to like do all these things to get there. Yeah. So that is awesome. Yeah. What is your favorite song? My favorite song of all time. I mean, one of them. I know. Uh, <laughs> well, I'd have to narrow it down to like 500. Um, just one of them. Favorite song. Please. I know. How would I even? Um... One of mine is "Sultans of Swing" by Dire Straits. There's the arm. <laughs> That was a good answer. I don't even know if I can narrow it down. I'm trying to think what what affects me on like a, I guess maybe Patty Griffin, a beautiful, you know, beautiful oh, day. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Um, all right, I don't want to get in the shot here, Stuart. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see. Uh, Sal99 is saying, how are you? So Good. <coughs> good. So um, what do you think about the Reno scene? Because I think you're going to say, how much time do we have, Stuart? Because I don't want to. Uh, you still got Okay, because we want to get to your song. Okay. What do you feel about the Reno scene? There's all yeah. this stuff going on, okay? Yeah, and if that. you guys don't know, Reno has always had a music scene, yes. but it's really getting, there's way more venues, number one, than there yeah. ever used to be. Ten years ago, it was like a few places you could play, unless yeah. you were doing casinos. So what do you think? Do you think it's going to hit? Do you think? I don't know. I, yeah. I think that there's a lot of talent here. Yeah, amazing I agree. Amazing talent um, in every genre. It's amazing. You can go out every night and see amazing Talent. Yeah, every single night. And there's so much of it. Um, as far as, I, I, I just wish Reno would start marching behind it. I feel like it only falls flat. I mean, I'm talking about Reno at large. I feel like I'd like people oh, to I get out more. Yeah. I'm not talking about the scene. The scene is sure. perfect. It's yeah, and they support each other. They, we support each yeah. other, but we need, frankly, we're all like starving artists, and we, you know, we can't afford to buy drinks. <laughs> I agree. We need to have, we somehow get people activated in the community to come out and support us. Right. Um, because, you know, this r generally doesn't really pay, you know, being an artist doesn't pay. Right, or very little. And very little, and we do it for the love, and just to get a momentum created would be awesome. Mm. I don't quite know how to do that. I, I see what I've you're never, saying. You know what I mean? I'm talking about the, the outskirts, you know, the, mm. the populace. I think what I see is a lot is that... Um, <laughs> um, what I see a lot is that, and, and that's a, I think that's a very good observation, um, and there is a big scene that's, that's put together uh, and everyone supports each other, yeah. but yes, people, other people b yeah. that don't play music need to come out and yeah. support music. All right. I'd like to see more of them. I would love that. Yeah. That's a great um, idea. So we're going to get behind that. We're going to work <laughs> on that. All right. Um, trying to get into performing. Okay, we'll get that in a minute, but um, we want to get a song in because okay. we don't want to waste, you know, sure. lose all the time. So Michelle's, I'm going to get my body out of the way. <laughs> and Michelle's going to play for you guys. Can you tell us the name of the song? Um, it's called, honestly, it's because it's so early, it's, I had to pick an easy song. No, that's, I understand. Um, it's called If God Should Keep His Word. Okay. Shall I begin? Yes, I will not. I'm excited. Close my eyes 
If I was nervous, and I'm like, no, I'm not nervous, and then all of a sudden I got really. Nervous. You're, you did. I would have <laughs> never known. You guys, that was, I, I was Thank really, you. really beautiful. Thank you. Um, everyone's saying beautiful, Michelle, you're great. Michelle, that is wonderful. Where can now, uh, really quick, because we have to wrap it up. But yeah. buying the CD, so how, so should will it be on your website? Is that where people can? Because um, we have an international audience, so they'll be oh, able wow. to go. Oh wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, I don't exactly know. If, okay. In the next couple months, I'm going to be expanding into basically where people will be able to access my music through like Amazon. Okay. And all of that, but right now it's only available through Reverb Nation. You can okay. purchase what I have. All right, That's already right recorded, I yes, think. Yes, but the new record will probably be available eventually through Amazon. So sometime in the early summer, yes. we're going to keep um, up with Michelle's, and we'll let you know. Um, go to her website, uh, you guys, and she's just a really, not only beautiful inside and out, but she's very, very talented. Thank you. Um, we had a great time. Thank you so much. Hey, we're going to be right back with The Wake Up Call here on LoadedTV.com. We're bringing you the best in inspiring artists. We'll be Thank right back. You. That was fun.